Greetings to everybody and welcome to my general YouTube channel for hospital news, hopefully. Everyone is enjoying their day very much. Before we start, just press the click the subscribe button to view this video. Peon and his mother deliver a thumbs up. Cupcakes in honor of to the hospital. Amy's birthday, Liz notices that his purse has been painted pink before he departs. For school once more, he says he wasn't. Observing the location of his suitcase at the time of the painting. He hopes that Liz washes out of class. Explains that last week he came back to his house with paint on his hair. Says that there's a lot of paint on there. It's an art class. Liz and Portia converse. Aiden is going back to school. Porchy senses that something Liz is bothering her, tells her about the occurrences involving paint, and she starts to worry that he might be. Again, like in the past, Ian was bullied wishes to handle whatever needs to be, occurring independently as she is at a unsure of what to do. Portia suggests that she converse with his teachers and counselor. Afterwards, Liz calls I.D. Anna school to make an appointment to speak with the school. Natalia, the counselor, finally gets to meet Christina's mom upon her arrival at Natalia, the invader, believes that not everything Alexis says she's heard about her was favorable. Natalia converses regarding her tumultuous relationship with Christina's journey and how she arrived at Blaze's sleeping Natalia says she's met. Sunny as well as their partnership. Appears to be going smoothly. Christina is near her father and her whole family. Family in Alexis Natalia's words. Notes that's obvious given that she's bearing the child of her sister Natalia. Feels that Blay and she could. Challenges resulting from this. Pregnancy Blay and Alex thought that in support of Christina's choice whilst. Natalia says she's there as well. Public criticism and inquiries about Alexis. The real reason for this discussion. Natalia believes Blay since she has a right to a quiet existence, yet notoriety comes with. She asserts that at a price if others observe them all together or even if one of them photographs them, rumors will spread, leading others to believe it's there. Pristina and youngster Blay can manage all that is directed against them. In Alex's opinion, considering that Christina is employed as a bartender and Blay. Celebrity Natalia thinks the there will be distinct repercussions for women enraged Natalia hears from Alexis that she has to get back to work ASAP. Let's her go as Alexis tries to. The call finishes with Diane wanting to vent to voicemail within a message Alexis's cry that she got to know Blaze's mom and it wasn't enjoyable for Maxie to meet with. Scott in the office of Deceit, she tells him that if Lucy is determined regarding filming at home and Hartwell, she begs him not to give them another seat. Lucy appears to talk with her, strutting about, on her just discovered social media notoriety. Scott is advised by Lucy, but they observe her house and heart once more in sequence, for her to get better at controlling her anger. Maxi notes with a sharp eye that a product. Pitchwoman must mention the brand of the goods. Lucy asserts that the item need to her name because of that, whenever Maxi pleads. Scott, in an attempt to stop this lunacy, he tells her that the way she looked was a total failure. Maxi tells Lucy that, though Lucy was a dumpster fire, thinks she was successful, as she says, that throughout her lengthy speech, she more concerned about promoting herself than the maxi product highlights that instead of elevating her self-esteem, she was destined to promote their latest facial serum, she was similarly trying to outdo Haven. According to Lucy, Haven is merely jealous. According to Lucy, because of her sales, our phenomenal sales are skyrocketing. Maxie claims, but not because of her. According to Maxie, Sasha is the one who maintained the sales, whereas Lucy is of the opinion. Her supporters simply refrained from buying the goods until after. She stepped away from the TV. Scott is made aware of 
Lucy that he was there, feeling the joyful vibes and her fans were excited. To buy, in Scott's opinion. They waited for Sasha to show up despite Maxie. Is not trying to minimize her accomplishments, she tells Lucy. She is not the only one who needs to use deceit. To make sales in order to be successful and... Lucy is not the right person to do this, tells her that all they have is her. Due to the fact that they lack Sasha and... Blaze's mother forbids her from pitching. There's another person in Maxie's. Viewpoint Drew offers an official. Curtis is offered to join Aurora and its brand new Aurora Drew Health Department. Thinks he can manage it the best. Nina enters and recognizes that Drew is accurate in stating that Curtis is reliable, although she has doubts about his identity. Actually in charge of Drew claims that Cuss and he's discussing the future. Working together and is thrilled about Curtis, potentially joining the group. Aurora family, although vigilance is suggested. Given that Drew is an expert negotiator, don't. Take note of her complaints after, living out their last adventure. Nina instructs Curtis to ensure that he knows what he is entering into, prior to spending the night with Drew Curtis urges Drew and Nina to act politely expressing that he is thinking a lot as. Curtis turns to go. Mina is hoping that Drew is not abusing the reasonable, recovered Curtis in Drew's opinion, he's giving him an opportunity, why is she here? Drew wonders if she's interested in Willows and what Michael does in his workplace. He informs her about the yesterday. Charity he collaborates with and clarifies. Willow was requested to act as the spokesman. She asks him to go with her. Her for the interview that she had with the congressman this afternoon, and I'm grateful. Him for making her aware of the circumstances. Drew says yes to the invitation, but wonders about her kindness and what's for her. She asserts that it's an exchange in kind and that she is taking part for her benefit. Daughter receives a call from Drew. Fairly close to the encounter, Curtis Portia. As she gets to the Metro Court, he informs her regarding the opportunity Drew is offering and seeks her advice on whether to grab it. He needs her counsel, but she's unsure if she ought to influence his decision. She mentions that he just returned, able to stand, and that overseeing the Cavoy, in addition to this, would be quite Curtis, feels that ever since his father and Naye, are managing the SIVO basically. Without him, not all of it would need to be. Porch's emphasis remains focused on worried about Selena's potential for take use of his absence to undermine the club. He informs her that Selena is his. In control because I have to travel for work, Portia says she will admit it. I miss him, but he tells her he will not be absent for lengthy periods of she believes that Curtis has made his choice because he says he has faith in got this notion during a conversation with Drew. Curtis accepts his proposal. Christina is having breakfast with TJ and Molly. TJ mentions Molly informing him about her confrontation with Joss earlier, night and her subsequent late visit when she should have been sleeping according to. Christina Jose conveyed her sorrow over their disagreement, which they were able to settle. He wonders what the issue was. She says Joss was just complaining and making derogatory comments about her. Although on this particular instance, Joss was. Correct TJ thinks that this is just. Acts as a reminder for her to. Be cautious and stay away from that side of her household Christina professes her affection for her dad and her dedication to protecting the unborn child's health. It is detrimental to both her and the unborn. Christina claims that the child should be cut, cut herself off from her loved ones and friends. Feel displeased Christina feels it's appropriate to depart quickly. T is questioned about what he is worried about what Molly said about it. Concerning the danger Sonny poses to their child security, she doesn't believe Sonny would put his unborn child at jeopardy if he told. Tell my Uncle Curtis that T.J. feels that way. They are able to, he did, and he is unwilling. Their infant is in peril, 
but Molly claims they cannot make Christina stay away. From her household, Molly claims they are unable to follow Christina everywhere you go. Since she is forfeiting her and nine months of life, T feels that he ought not to be portrayed as a bad guy and that Christina's security during their pregnancy is a legitimate request. Asserts that because they are the ones in the this jointly and this is their offspring, they should be able to exert some control on her life's activities, Molly asserts that is impossible given that she is your sister, with no conditions attached. If we had chosen to use a surrogate, TJ clarifies Molly is aware that dad 